What's happening? Your boy is back. Your boy is back. Come on in here and let's get it in. Let's get it in. Yeah. I don't have no music. Because if I play music, then YouTube is going to put ads on my video that I didn't instruct them to put on there. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll sing or something or hum later. All right. Come on, y'all a little slow. Boy, it's like, if you don't come out here for a week, boy, it get about you quick, Jack. All right, all right, okay. Just waiting for the pop, 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 pop before I go in. Okay, well, you know what? Guess what? Y'all see it on the replay. So here we go. Today, we want to talk about how to beat men at their own game. Now, what is this about? When we say beat them at their own game, what, what, what are we really talking about? Now, let me say this, ladies. Um, I know that y'all hate this concept of the game. Like, like women really hate that. Um, now why do you hate the, the idea of the game? Why, like, why does this bother you so much? Um, well, it bothers you because, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Real quick, what's going on out here? Because it's very unusual for just no one to be out here. Hold on, let me try something real quick. Make sure. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. All right, there we go. There we go. Little delayed, little delayed. Okay, cool. What's up? What's up? Hey, I was about to get out of here. I'm like, okay, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> Ain't nobody in this joint. What's up? What's up? There they go. What's up, Bet? Who else we got out here? Faro, what's up? Joanne, Judy. What's happening? Yeah, y'all had me like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I definitely didn't log into the wrong page. All right. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Lord Joy? Okay. Now I feel so much better. All right. As y'all can see, I've been on vacation. I am, I accomplished my goal. I am both fatter and blacker. Um, I went to um, Florida and yes, I was in Florida. Um, Catherine, I was at, uh, I was at Fort Lauderdale. Um, I was in Hollywood area. Yeah, what's up, Rochelle? Yep, yep, yep. And I accomplished my goal. Um, so now I, I have to lighten up in, in both areas, okay? Uh, complexion, I'm going to lighten up a little bit and then I'm going to lose this weight because see, now I got the Shaquille O'Neal face and um, I'm just retaining too much water and I just got to let it go. But anyway, that's not why you're here. Okay, why you're here is we're talking about how to beat men at their own game. You know what I mean? Um, and let me say this, first of all, ladies, I know you, you hate this, this idea of the game and I, and I, and I would hate it too, if I was you, because, you know, it's like, first of all, it's, it's, it's hard to like something that you didn't sign up to play. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's like you, you find yourself in this situation where you're, uh, in this game and you feel like you're losing and I didn't even sign up to play Monopoly. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know nothing about the little hat and little dog and collecting $200. I don't, I don't care nothing about that. So if you felt like you was winning, you know what I'm saying? If you was out here balling, living your best life, then maybe not so bad. But when you end up heartbroken and, you know, played on and cheating and all this old kind of stuff, yeah, I, I would hate it too. But here's the deal, ladies. Um, everything that we really engage in in life, there's some rules to it. Um, laws, you know, scripture is big on laws. Um... You know, if you just read the scriptures, you know, it says, do this, don't do that. Right. And that's really kind of how you got to view this idea of this game, you know, um, and you can call it whatever you want. But it's it's really just about how to go about the whole relationship thing in a way that things turn out in your best interest. That that's all I care about. Did you get really what you want? Right. And so when we look at the rules to this thing called the game, the dating game or whatever, that men seem to are born with like, you know, the rules just stamped in their forehead. Like it's just kind of inherited somehow. Right. Um, but here's the thing. I'm going to give you some rules. Right. I'm going to turn you on to some games, some laws to this thing. Now, first thing you got to know is this. You got to learn the rules. I mean, that, that, that is the first thing, because like I said, everything has rules and laws. Now, first, after you learn the rules, then the next thing you got to know is rule number one, don't give away your power. 
So, okay, he, here is the, the reality of it, ladies. You do have all the power. Now, I know no one has told you this little secret that you have all the power. Now, there's a book um, called The Power of the P, you know, P-U-S-S-Y. And um, very popular book. And the whole premise behind this book, ladies, is how, you know, us as men, when we approach women, there's something that you have, obviously, that we want. Now, it's not always just, you know, sex and this type of thing, right? Um, but at the same time, if he's approaching you, you already have some leverage in the situation. Okay? So keep that. Understand that. You have all the power. Now, the problem is oftentimes women don't know they have the power. You don't know you have the power. Okay. And if you don't know how that you have the power, what happens is you misuse it or you abuse it. Okay. And then you lose it. All right. And a lot of you end up losing the power that you innately possess. All right. Now, how do you give it away? If you end up chasing a man, you definitely have given away your power. Um, if, you know, because in, in, in the exchange, a lot of times it's about like this kind of power struggle, right? Who had, does he have it? Who's calling who? You know, all, all this kind of stuff. Ladies, first of all, keep your cool, okay? Because we want what you have, not just physical, you know what I'm saying? But there's something about you because without you, what, 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 are, we, what are we gonna do? Just be talking to each other? No, 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 no. So when you relax and don't let fear get in the way, all right, you play in your position. You play in your position. And so when he's pursuing you, you let him pursue you. If something happened, now here's where you lose the, the you lose the victory. When, you know, maybe he stops calling or, you know, he's not doing what he was, you start to panic a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I think maybe I was saying something like that. All right, so you start to panic a little bit, but don't panic. Because when you get when you let fear come into the equation, then that's when you start losing. Okay. That's when you start giving up. That's when you start losing all your power. And listen, don't do it. Now here's the thing. If for whatever reason that he goes away and you know he acts like he doesn't want this anymore, that's cool. Because at the end of the day, as long as you don't chase, a lot of times what they do is they come back. How many of y'all have had the guy come back? He left and then he came back. You didn't chase him. You didn't run after him. And he might have went on. Oh, well, forget it then. And you and that. You know, he get all in his feelings. Because I'm going to turn y'all on to some game. About the game. Ladies, we are very, um, we're very vulnerable. We're very sensitive creatures. Men, yes. Men, the ones were ar, ar, all this. Don't fall for that. Don't fall for that. I mean, we talk a good game and all that, but inside every man is a little girl. I, I'm almost convinced. We're very, we're highly sensitive, big egos and all of that. And see, that works to your advantage because, you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So while he's thinking he's running things and he's in control, and the moment he does something, because all while he's been exposed to you, right, his his heart is being, his 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 heart is getting infected by you know what I'm saying? Your awesomeness. And he don't even know it. He don't even know it. But if you play your position, when he try to walk off, he'll realize, wait a minute, hold on. I don't want to be without her. I can't be without her. And then that's when he takes the humility walk and then he comes back. But if you start chasing and you start calling, you start pursuing, and you know what I'm saying? You start getting all nervous. Now you're giving away your power, ladies. And then that's oftentimes when you get taken advantage of, um, you get taken for granted and those type of things. And it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. Because here's my thing. If he, for whatever reason, decides that, you know, he don't want to be with you. Yes. Didn't he kill him with a rock? Yeah. A, a, a slingshot. Um, if he decides he doesn't want to be with you, he's done you a favor. You know what I mean? But a lot of times it's a test. It's not a test like, Ooh, let me test her. It's a test in that when he, when he goes away, um, it's more about, can you stand in your power? Can you stand in your strength? Can you stand in your truth and realize, oh, I know who I am. And if for whatever reason, he's too stupid to see it, you understand what I'm saying? Then that's his problem. It's not mine. Okay. And then you'll say, well, somebody else will come along who actually has eyes to see. Okay. 
and they will know how to appreciate all of this awesomeness. See, that's your position. It's very simple. It's not hard. Okay. And a lot of times when a man sees that you're not going to bend, you're not going to break. All right. Then what they do is they like, they got to bow to the queen. Mm, you are worthy. Mm, so worthy. You know what I mean? Because they're acknowledging the fact that you acknowledge who you are. You know who you are. Oh, very attractive. So very attractive. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to come on out here and, and encourage you, you know, um, stand in your power, ladies. Play your game. Make him play your game. Don't play his game. Yeah. Don't play his game. Make him play your game. And your game is to know who you are, stand in your power, and not give that power away. Yes. When you weaken them, they get angry and verbally abusive. Some of them might. You know what I mean? But you, here's the deal. You don't have, you don't stand for that. You want to, you want to get verbally, you, you know, you do that somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do all that with me. Okay. So bye-bye. And that's how you stand in your power. There, there's this thing called boundaries. Listen, sir, if you want to go off and yell and all that, you're going to do that out there. You're not going to do that here. Okay. Yeah. So good night. And so even when you do that, you're communicating that you're standing in your power. And he's like, oh, wow, she's different. She's not, she's not going to put up with my, my, my BS and my crap. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you this, ladies. What, let me, because when you learn how to do this right, when you learn how to play your game, ladies, when you learn how to play your game, oh, can't nobody touch you. Can't nobody touch you. See, he'll try all to get uh, the Jedi mind tricks, and it won't work on you. And he'll try all the stuff that he tried with all the other ones before you, and he'll be frustrated because he'll be like, it's it's not working. But that's the thing that breaks him down. Do 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 do, and see, so he gets a little scared. It's like, oh my God, because now I'm getting vulnerable. She's going to she's gonna see that I'm not really, ah, you know, the Wizard of Oz is really this little old, you know, white dude behind the curtain, you know what I'm saying, pulling, ah, smoking stuff, but that's not the reality, you know what I mean? The reality is, you know, don't hurt me in my, in my vulnerable place, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm breaking up? I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm breaking up. Um, hopefully you just catch the replay. Um, can anybody else, is, is it breaking up to everybody else? Can y'all see me? Can you see me? Is it breaking up? I'm sorry for the breakup. Hey, hey, from VA, what's happening? So remember that, ladies, stand in your power. And like I said, when you get that and you stand in that, you hear me? Okay, okay, y'all said I'm good. So when you stand in that, listen, can't nothing touch you. I mean, we, we I, I wish I could express to y'all that we are not, we're nothing like we present in terms of, oh, all that ego. A lot of that's just... It's just an act. It's really just an act just to, to protect our little little boy on the inside. Really, it is. Okay. And I understand some of y'all, you know, you may feel like, okay, that's hard for me to do. I get it. Sounds easy, but it's very difficult because when I'm in the moment and when he walks away, it triggers my, my rejection issues and my abandonment issues. And I get that. You know what I'm saying? And if you need help with that, you know, hit me up. I'm a coach. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can schedule a free 30-minute consultation on my website. ChristopherReed.org, and we can take it from there. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's whatever you got to do to get there, you do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but just get there because that's where y'all should have started out. Mom, dad should have taught you that. You should have got that from day one. Okay. Didn't happen. I get it. But you got people out here. What's up, Paris? People like myself, coaches and whatnot, relationship life coaches to help you get there. So, um, also, um, what else? Get the free book if you haven't got the Forbidden Secrets of the Goodie Box, which your father didn't tell you and your mother didn't know. Make sure you get that, ladies. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org, and download the Pendo or the, um, the PDF version. What else? Uh, tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be talking about, are you tired of working on fixer-uppers? Yes. A lot of you have been your your project managers and you've been doing these fixer up project fixer upper projects say that three times um back to back and you can't do it okay so i'm gonna be talking about it and we're gonna talk about how to stop doing that okay why you why are you into fixer uppers what's what's really going on there okay and um what you should really be working on so we're going to be talking about that for a whole hour tonight in my diamond mind my facebook group go to my website christopherreed.org if you want to be a part of that Yes, uh, he's hindering. If he's hindering you, you're you from your uh, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to read some of the stuff you said. Should a woman leave a broken man? Hmm. That's a you. I think you could answer that question, but um, I'll answer for you. Yeah, well, 
if he if he's broken, you know, it's not really anything that you can really do for him. See, 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 that's a fixer upper thing right there. You need to be in the, the Facebook group tonight. What I'm gonna talk about. See that that is the heart of a fixer upper. Yeah, yeah. You're you're into the rehab thing. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Why is it your job? See, the thing is, like, why is it your job to, you know, because this is you. Maybe you're an empath. Maybe you know what I'm saying, and you're feeling like, hey, he's broken. Maybe I can help. I don't know. You know, I. So yeah. You need to be in the Facebook group tonight while I'm talking about it. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, like I said, go to my website, ChristopherReed.org, and you'll see how to join the Facebook group tonight. And um, like I said, if you you know that you're struggling with not keeping your power, standing in your power, you're like, I lost my power, Doc. I don't know where I left it. I laid it down right here. I came back, and my power was gone. Um, and you need help with coaching, hit me up, do a free 30 minute consultation. We'll take it from there. Uh, go to the website, figure that out. I think that's all. So if you missed this, appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Numbers look good tonight. I know because I've been away last week. I went, I was on vacation. See, I'm fatter and blacker. Um, just was enjoying life. And, uh, but yeah, now I got to pay the price because now I got to lose it. And um, it's all good, but it was worth it. I ate a lot of junk and I was happy about it. And walking to Fort Lauderdale. Oh my God, if you haven't been down there. Oh my God, it was amazing. Just walking along the strip. Water was so beautiful. So take your vacation. Enjoy spring break. Get out of here. Get out of your, you know, your your routine and just get away and, and, and love you. Do it for you. You don't have to have anybody. Just take you. Send yourself on vacation. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I had the power, but he knocked me off my square. It's okay. You can get your power back. And see, a lot of y'all, especially if you, oh, you know I talk about these narcissists. So if, especially if you've been dealing with these narcissists, narcissists just feel like they just slapped the taste out your mouth. You know what I mean? You'd be like, well, I was confident in all this before I met this guy. And then, you know, after this, you know, he made me feel like I was crazy. I was insecure. And I was, it happens. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? You can get your power back. It's not gone. You know, all is not lost. You can get it back. If you need help, you're struggling with it, it's cool. Hit me up. We'll talk about it. We'll get it popping. Okay. God has him. He didn't call him. Yes, he does. Bridget. So let me say what's up to y'all. What is that? Bridget, Farah. I always get paranoid when I say her name, like I'm messing it up. Victoria, Tiffany, Sophia, Sharon. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, Paris, uh, Catherine, Lady LaDonna, Joanne. Tiffany, who was that? Uh, N.T. Cheek, am I saying that right? 17, Nicole, Janella. Okay, y'all all out here on tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Deborah, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah, Deborah is one of my, my coaching peeps. Um, Ellen, Judy, Beth, I already hit you up. So listen, all right, y'all, I got to get out of here. And uh, get ready for the, the real party that's about to start in a little over 30 minutes. We have a good time. We really do. All right. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. God bless y'all. Hey, if there's some things that y'all want to hear me talk about, some subjects or whatnot, you can leave it in the comments, you know, um, and I'll try to get around to it. Been there, done that, was healed. I am so glad.